Okay, let's go ahead and get this guy opened up right now. I got my cool plush carrot. I think that's what they told me is I can open the box up with the carrot. Let's see. Kinda, yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, see, it works totally legit. Okay, guys, here it is. Uh, this thing is so big and heavy. Look at that, folks. Wow. Almost got it, guys. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Ooh. Okay, guys, here it is. The Vinny Bot M1. Wow. Uh, I think I weighed, what, too much for this guy? I am so excited. Give you guys a quick look at everything. Here's that. Uh, it feels like it weighs probably 20 or so pounds. Okay, here it is. Let's see, how do I open this? Maybe from the side here? Let's see. Oh, I can, oh yeah. Here it is, see this? If you're a professional, you know right out the bat, you just open up from the tabs. But since I'm a noob, I don't know how to do this. Let's try this again. Okay, here we go. Oh, uh, did I open up the wrong side of the box? It looks like we have an instruction manual. Uh, it looks like we have an extra side brush here. Probably is helpful. Power cable. Kids, I'm a professional, don't do this at home. Alright, we got a foam thing, you have your giant charging base. Look at this folks, this thing's probably four or five times bigger than a standard robot charging base, but this thing has a self-cleaning mop, so it holds both dirty and clean water. Very cool. And look at this, we got the robot. Should I leave the plastic bag on the robot? What do you guys think? I think it will work with the plastic on. I am just kidding with you guys. Let's get this guy out of here. Wow, see that guys? Give you guys a quick spin around here. This is the self-cleaning mopping pad, and it also can raise and lower. Here's the LiDAR sensor. And if you guys watched my channel, I actually talked about the Narwhal as well. This one actually has a spinning brush with a vacuum, so it should pick up as well as mop pretty well. And look at this folks, it even has an edge sensor. Okay, let's go ahead and get this guy out. Hey y'all folks, give you guys a quick spin around now, and it looks like up top here is the water compartment, if I can figure out how to get this, yeah, it just pops up. So, this is the dirty water, and then, then here is the uh, clean water. Very nice. Okay, so we got the robot. 
the self-cleaning base for the mopping pad and for the charger and it looks like we had some other components I threw at you guys here's everything that's included in the box you got a water measuring cup very nice you got your side brush it's called the snail touch what it does is it extends out let me uh, show you that it's actually on right here it actually extends out for the side brush very cool feature the side brush on here That was pretty easy, just a quick snap on. Okay, so here's everything that's included. The charging base, the measuring cup, the power cable, and the robot. Very cool, I'm excited to get this charged up and we'll do a quick clean test of the N1 Finibot. Stay tuned for one second, hold on. Okay, we're back. And we got the Finibot N1, it's all charged up and ready to go. So, before we do the pickup test, I just want to say, if you like this type of video, please smash the like button. It really helps me gauge if the video is popular or not. Also, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nathan. This is Robot Masters. I do a lot of crazy challenges, unboxings, overviews, and you can clearly see I have a lot of robots to test against each other. Okay, so the Finibot N1 is a very unique robot in the fact that it has a self-cleaning mop. So, what you do is there's actually a clean water uh, little what is this, a cover tab, and what you can do is fill up this little container that they graciously provide, and you just fill it up here. Hope I do this without spilling, guys. And just screw in the lid or top. Okay, it's all ready to go. Let's go ahead and do this pickup challenge. Okay, so here's a quick look at the Vinibot app. Um, this is the main menu where you can select different modes for your robot. So I'm actually going to select different areas for this cleaning test. So in one area, I'm actually going to have it just do vacuuming my carpet, which would be on its max mode. Now in another area, I'm just going to have it do mopping only. So it just mops, there's no vacuuming. And then for the third area, I'll just do vacuuming only. But I'll have it on its medium or standard power setting. And then lastly, I will just do one area where it's on its max power setting. So I'm going to see how well the robot picks up on its various settings. Now keep in mind that the robot is still fairly new, so the app itself is a little bit slow, but over time it should speed up. I believe the robot's just been released maybe a month ago, so I'll keep you guys updated on new app updates. Okay, so here's all the different settings I have for the cleaning test. Um, you may hear that back and forth motorized sound. That's actually the sweeper scraping off the mopping pad and wetting it, getting it ready for the mopping job. Okay, did you notice the different vacuum settings? Alright, once it was near the docking station in that area, it's just a mopping only. And then once it got towards the fridge, it started to ramp up its vacuum motor. And then finally, once it got onto the bathroom rug, you could see that it lifted up its mopping pad so it could just vacuum only. So what the robot's trying to do is hug the right side of my fridge because there's a wall sensor. But unfortunately, the wall sensor is infrared only, so it is struggling to see the black object. But it's doing a good job trying to get its sweeper as close to the edge as possible. It's going to go ahead and go back and forth on the rug for a few times. And then it will continue on with the back and forth cleaning pattern. 
Okay, so let me tell you my experience so far with the robot. Uh, besides the long shipping time, this was through Alibaba. I believe that's the only website you can buy this robot currently, and there's only one supplier. I did find that the app is okay. Uh, it's a little slow. Like, I believe it's on the server side. Also, I had issues with trying to get to log in. Um, I've been closely working with the supplier, and we did work out a couple bugs. We actually got the robot to work in English. That was one of the things I requested because... When they first mentioned the robot, they said it was only in like Chinese, but I did get them to uh, get the robot converted over to English for the USA market. So if you don't know anything about this robot, this is a very new robot that came from overseas. Uh, the actual maker is called Vinnybot.com. You can actually check out the website, but this robot has a lot of unique features. Besides having a LiDAR sensor, and you have noticed that the mopping pad can raise and lower. It also has the ability to clean its mopping pad and you can set how often it goes back to its charger to rinse out the mopping pad. You could do either from like 5 meters up to like 150 meters squared. So it's a very nice feature in the app. The robot itself supports a lot of great features. I want to give a special thanks to this person. I'll put the description right here. Basically, they've been helping me out. Uh, they know a lot about this robot. They actually have the robot themselves. And they kind of help answer a couple of my questions about the robot. But here's what I got from them. Uh, the robot offers three mapping levels or mapping memory. The mapping is very similar to the Roblox where it saves the three most recent maps or floor plans. And then you have the options to either save those floor plans or just have it create a new map each time. The robot has a lot of navigation sensor, it has a physical bump sensor, it also has a bump sensor up towards the top of the robots because it sits up so tall. Uh, that's the only downside is it's not a uh, thin or slim robot so it won't get underneath furniture. The main sensor of the robot is the LiDAR sensor, it's a spinning laser that spins 360 degrees. There's a really good job mapping out my room quickly, it was able to map out the kitchen within a few minutes. Another sensor that the robot has is two forward-facing cameras. There's one that looks up towards the ceiling, and there's one that looks towards the ground. This allows it to avoid objects like poo. I will be doing a separate test on this, so stay tuned for that. And lastly, you may notice the spinning side brush. This is called the snail touch. What it does is it actually extends its arm out into corners to help grab debris. One thing I would like to see is the spinning side brush to slow down a bit. It's kind of like the Roomba i7. It spins a little too fast, so you may notice the scatter of debris. Okay, it looks like it's almost done with the area where it does vacuuming and mopping. Now it should be able just to do mopping only. Okay, let's just jump into the settings. There's one thing I want to let you guys know is you can change the robot's voice to English. I did work closely with the supplier to get this to work. Um, at first, it was just these three languages, but they did add English for the U.S. market. Now, here's the example of the slow loading time. Even though I selected English, it takes a few seconds for the server to recognize it and change the setting on the robot. Feel free to pause this. You can see the other settings. Uh, one thing to note is the robot does allow you to change the setting on how often you want the robot to return to its docking station to clean the mopping pad. I did check for an update and the robot is up to date. Uh, there's a lot of different options you can do. You can also have the robot memorize three maps. Um, you can reset the robot. You can check for accessories, make sure that your accessories are good. So I really like that they did a thorough job making sure they cover all aspects of the robot. Okay, so the app is called Vinny. That's the icon down below. And once you click it, you actually get greeted to its home screen where you can add additional robots. And then you click the clean button. You can actually go to its main menu where you can change settings and change different aspects of the robot and its cleaning modes. Here's an example how quickly the robot can create a map. Uh, one thing to note is I forgot that it was on both cleaning and mopping. So the robot was trying to let me know that 
they need to be wired in the actual bin. But I went ahead and just kept going. It does allow you to just keep going. It just won't mop. So as you can see, it, within a few seconds, it started to create the boundaries of my kitchen. And as it keeps going out, it will continue creating new borders. For this demonstration, I just did my kitchen area. But I will be doing a whole house challenge or actually map out my entire house and do additional testing. The cleaning pattern is very similar to the rubber rock, kind of starts out with a perimeter strip, then it fills in that perimeter with a back and forth cleaning pattern. So within the map, you can actually pinch and zoom to actually zoom out if you want to see the entire map. Also, look below, you can have different options. You can change the power settings. You can change to do either mopping or just vacuuming or both. You also have the ability to do area select and you can also do point clean, which allows the robot to go to a certain area, do a spot clean, then return back to its charger. I like that there's a lot of options. This robot is probably the most featured rich robot that I own. So the customization that's in there, you also have the ability to create schedules and within the scheduling you can tell the robot to go to a certain area or room. Yes, this robot allows you to create rooms like kitchen, bathroom, master bathroom, etc. Also, the robot has keep out zones or restricted zones, so it's a very versatile, highly featured robot. So if you're thinking about buying one, there's only one supplier that I know of, it's through Alibaba.com. You can just search Finibot in one and it should pop up. One thing to know is the shipping times are a little long. Uh, there's some restocking orders and some stocking issues. So hopefully you can get one soon. Mine took two months, but maybe it's just during the holidays. Okay, it looks like it's done. I'm just going to see how much the robot picked up and check the mopping pad. As you can see, I did different power settings. I also did mopping only and vacuum and mopping so I tried out the settings and this was just the first look of the Benny Bot in one. Alright let's just start out with the pickup challenge. Just out. You guys quick look there. Can you guys see inside there? Because this robot's so new, uh, the only way you can buy the accessories is through their website, bettybot.com. So maybe in the future, Amazon will sell the accessories as well. Dust back is back. Dust back is back. Okay, let's see uh, what the mopping pad looks like. Okay, can you guys see that? Yeah, they look okay. Yeah, it's a little damp, but it definitely needs um, some water. One nice feature is you can tell it how much you want it to go out for. You can do like 5 meters, you can do up to like 100 meters. So I would recommend doing the lowest setting so the robot will go back more frequently. That was just a quick look at the Vinny bot. Uh, I did just a second day cleaning run and it looked like it did a pretty good job. Keep in mind that the spinning side flush is a pretty fast spinning one. So it's kind of like the Roomba i7. So that's just one thing to know. But we'll continue doing more testing. So stay tuned. Have a good day guys.